Hi guys, it's Ron. How you doing? Today I have a tutorial about how to clean your mouse. This particular mouse is a Logitech G300 and for the cleaning process we'll need a couple of things. A Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, cotton swabs, cotton rounds, and rubbing alcohol. With the G300 there is some adhesive tape on the bottom which is pretty easily removed. Just gotta go for the corners and remove. There's three pieces to be more exact. Two on the bottom left and right and one on top. The G300 has four screws and they're fairly easily removed more so easily with the Phillips head. Though I've tried it with the flat head, that works too. So, bottom left and right, top left and right. The mouse separates fairly easily, just go for the cord. And we're not cleaning hardware today, so that goes to the side. It looks pretty clean anyways. Most of the dirt is on the plastic part of your mouse. The top part, the, the parts you touch, you spill stuff on, you get coke, beer, other substances. With the G300, initially you're welcomed by three screws, which hold the light diffusing plastic things. I, I, I don't even know what we could call them. They kind of look like fiber optic material because they diffuse the light very nicely. Like you can get red, green, and blue. And um, the screw, that particular screw had an issue. It, the last time I cleaned it, it wouldn't, wouldn't go in properly. So anyways, I found a solution how to take it out after probably like 10 minutes. Most people won't have an issue with that. It's just, they're just properly screwed. Just take them out, bam. Removing those plastic pieces though is really hard. They're connected to each other and finding the proper angle to remove them takes a couple of minutes at least. I didn't want to use too much force as it would probably break them. They look not too sturdy. Second one comes out so easily once you get the first one out though. And of course the clamshell on top is secured at the very top and just press on it, you're good. Don't jerk it open because it will probably crack and that's not good. There's also two more secure points in the middle. I would not suggest using any hard objects. Uh, I used my nails and they worked very well. Uh, previous time I used metal and that didn't work out so well for the bottom part. So the clamp, you can remove the bottom by pressing on it or if you're like me and you broke it, you can do this. Uh, an easy fix because it does become a little wobbly if you break any of those secure points is double sided tape, two layers should be good. And again, that's the part where it broke, the left side. Eh. Metal, don't use metal. If you're superficial and don't wanna go really deep into cleaning this, and you know, you don't wanna spend two hours or an hour at least in taking all the components out and putting them back in, you can do a superficial clean and I would recommend a cotton round for that. Cotton round gets most of the dirt and it will cover the most area. So I started with the shell and went into the actual body of the mouse. And yeah, you could do the, the wheel, the little components on the side. You'll get most of the dirt, at least 75% of the dirt doing this because most dirt is on top of your mouse and on the sides and even if you get a cotton swab you'll get even more you'll probably get like 80 90 percent of the dirt however if you want to go deep inside this may be a challenge because 
you get way more screws and way more components and you have to be really careful in actually securing every last one because there's a bunch of them. We have four side buttons in the case of the G300 and other mouses I assume have very, or mice, mouses, mices. Other mice have similar components. You get the buttons in the middle, the four buttons on each side all together. Also the ball. The ball I did not remove because that, that, that would have been way too much and I didn't see any screws so maybe maybe you could remove it but it's working fine so I'm not that thorough. But yes, basically you can remove the buttons and the sides and middle parts and just about almost everything in this mouse and you get this frame basically. And of course now it's time to clean all those components so shortly there will be some louder music while this happens. together is not too hard just to have to figure out where each component is and taking a picture helps so that first one is G5 and yeah just screw it back in clamp it back in and there you go first part it's easy just make sure there's a little bit of movement just the barest amount and that makes sure that that makes you know that it's working. Second part, G4. That goes on top of G5, as you can imagine. Taking a picture or going online, blueprints, there's so many ways you can do this, but also organizing it in the proper fashion so that you know where each component was or should be. That's G7 on the upper right. Of course, again, screw it in. Make sure it has that little bit of movement. And there we got G6 coming up. Right underneath G7. reason the middle is G8 and 9. Though you have to be careful where you put it because uh, if you don't insert it properly you get this little hump on your mouse. On the bottom you'll see that there's movement and if that's not happening then it's not properly inserted. As always you know there's contact points between the hardware and the physical mouse so there you go. And yeah, then you just put the clamp back on, make sure everything is moving, everything looks good. Then those light diffusing thingies back on. I wonder what they're called, because they kind of have like a fiber optic feel to them. Anyways. And yes, just rebuild it. If you played with Legos, you probably know how this exactly feels, just with some little screws added to it. And yes, uh, again, I had that issue with that one screw, but it does screw in. It's not a common problem, I would assume. It is plastic that you're 
using metal again, so there's always the chance that it will break the plastic. Anyways, rebuilding the mouse is quite easy, especially if you've done something like this before. Cleaning the Logitech is kind of easy, as long as you keep track of all the components and make sure you don't lose any of the screws or any of the small plastic pieces. All in all, it took me about an hour to do the whole thing really thoroughly, and uh, it was really fun, surprisingly. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button, and if you want to see more awesome content from this channel, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!